five, four, three, we have ignition, two, one. Ignition and full thrust, five good SRVs. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, carrying satellites for Amazon's Project Piper Internet Constellation. Marking the start of a new chapter in low Earth orbit satellite connectivity. You is now on close with control, engaging first throttle segments. And we've completed our pitch program. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. And we've successfully completed our roll program. Hydraulics continue to operate nominally. Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. Body rates continue to look good. Engine continues to operate as expected. Throttling back up. You are hearing Sarah Bailey Glasgow providing launch vehicle ascent data. We are now seven miles in altitude, moving at 1,700 miles an hour. Now passing one minute into flight. Vehicle continues to pass through the center of the rain track as expected. SRBs continue to operate nominally. Throttling down, engine continues to burn as expected. Body rates continue to look good. Vehicle is now one half of its liftoff weight. Max Q passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Coming up on SRB burnout. And we have good indication of SRB burnout, 10 seconds from SRB jettison. Throttling back up. And we have good indication of jettison of all five SRBs. Engine continues to burn normally. We are now 32 miles in altitude, moving at 4,000 miles an hour. We just heard confirmation of the solid rocket booster jettison. These additional motors augmented the thrust at liftoff to give Atlas rocket an extra boost to reach its circular low Earth orbit destination. These SRBs are called GEM-63s, which stand for graphite epoxy motor and are 63 inches in diameter. The most obvious difference you'll see between Atlas and Vulcan SRBs is the nose cone shape. Vulcan has a conical nose cone, whereas Atlas has a duckbill or O-drive shape. We're coming up here on our next mission event, jettison of the payload bearing. Let's listen in to Sarah. Continues to move down the center of the range track and is moving at 5,300 miles an hour. Body rates continue to operate nominally, and we are now holding acceleration at 2.5 Gs in preparation for payload bearing jettison. And we have activated the Centaur reaction control system, and we have passed the Kármán line. We have exited Earth's atmosphere. Vehicle is now one fourth of its liftoff weight. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison and good indication of CFLR deck jettison. Engine continues to operate as expected. 